Hello, I'm Don Dee, and welcome to your Five Elements Challenge. The Five Elements are incredible. It's a system that I was raised in by my mom, Donna Eden, and she taught my sister and I at a very young age how to navigate our lives through the Five Elements. And it has helped me in every aspect of my life, from relationships to work to my career, everything, especially communication with people. When you learn what your element is and what other people's elements are, it's like a key to life that you're so happy you're ha you have. You feel like you have a secret to life. And so this is a challenge for you to do with us. It's going on for five days and it's to balance your elements because with the five elements, each element, water, wood, fire, earth, and metal, defaults to a stress response when they are stressed out. So if you are a water element, you usually default to fear. If you're a wood, it's anger. If you're a fire element, it's panic. If you are an earth, it's worry. And if you are a metal, it's grief. And we have all of these emotions dancing in our life. So we're going to give you some, some easy techniques to help balance those emotions, that stress that can bubble up in the body when you are having a hard time in life. You can do these techniques anytime. You don't have to do them all together. You can separate them out. You can concentrate on one. But to do a technique to move your energy when you are stressed is incredible because you can't always talk your way out of it, can you? You can't always talk your way out of the fear or the grief or the worry. So let's do this together. You'll do it with me. And this first one is for the water element, but it doesn't matter which element you are. It helps everybody. Again, water's emotion is fear. So this can be when you are in life and you're just feeling really paralyzed about going forward in life or you're scared about something that might happen or something that's coming up or you're just feeling some fear about the world. This is a really good one. So if you can sit like this, this is great. If you can't, modify it for yourself, please. And and don't mind the cars back there. I am in a beautiful forest setting right now, but there are cars in the distance. You are going to bring your arms like this. Let me make it a little bit easier so you can see. Bring your arms like this around your knees. And I'm going to sort of tuck myself into my knees. It actually gives me a little bit of a stretch in the lower back. And I'm going to inhale through my nose. And when I exhale, I'm going to make the sound of whoo, like I'm blowing out a candle, but I'm adding some sound with it. It's a very soft and gentle whoo. When you make this sound, you can actually help your vagus nerve. The vagus nerve runs throughout your body and it can get really tight when you're under stress. It can actually have people fainting if they aren't healthy and if they aren't really taking care of themselves. So take care of yourself. This is one way to do it. So we're going to inhale through the nose and then exhale. Inhale. One more time. You can also do it without the sound. Let's try it without the sound, like you are blowing out a candle. One more time. So that is for fear. It's very calming to the nervous system. 
and you can do it anytime you would like, not only when you are feeling the fear, but it's a very wonderful technique for your body physically and your energy to calm. All right, now I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do the second exercise with you. We have five exercises today and the second one is for the wood element and the emotion is anger. All right, this second technique is for the wood element and for the emotion of anger. If you are feeling anger, if you are feeling frustration, this is a great exercise to do. Let me just say this, you never want to stuff your anger, folks. You don't want to deny your anger. It's human and find a way to help release it. Find a way to release it from your body and your mind. This is a great way to do it. This is called blowing out the anger. So let me go back here for you. You're going to rub your hands together, shake them off. We just like to do that to, to, to get a little energy going and then shake it off and get ready. We're going to put our hands on our thighs for a moment. Nice deep breath in and out. This is just good for grounding. And then I'm going to make fists and I'm going to bring my arms up behind me, up above my head, and I'm going to blow out my anger. And as I do that, I'm going to bring my fists down on each side of my body and open them. Just like that. And get rid of that anger. Let's do it again fists behind you up above and you can make any sound you want you can even say somebody's name like okay I've been mad at somebody I'll use his name and I love him dearly but he knew I had a little anger with him and I'll say Ben and I love you Ben <laughs> and we're going to make fists again and this time I'm going to do a shh sound really fast, really strong. Bring it up, inhale, let that anger out. One more time, this time on the last time, which is our fourth time, we're going to do it slowly. Inhale. That felt good, let's do that one more time. This exercise allows you to get in touch with your anger viscerally in your body and then release it. So maybe you have a confrontation with someone coming up. Maybe there's somebody you know you need to speak to and it's not going to be so easy. Do blowing out the anger before you're in that confrontation. <laughs> okay, it's a really great one. All right, let's see what's next. We have taken down the flames. So next is fire element. If you are a fire element, you would know it because you're very high energy, you get a little scattered, but when you go into stress, you can panic. You panic, you freak out. Everything's happening right now and I can't see straight and I don't know what to do. Blah, 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 blah. This is a great exercise for that. It's called taking down the flame because when you are a fire element, you tend to get really, really hot. Hot in the head, hot in the face, or if you're just experiencing the fire element, you can get hot throughout your body. So rub our hands together, shake them off, put them on our thighs for grounding. Ah, and we're going to take down that flame. We're going to bring our hands together in a pyramid position, right on the top of your head. And I'm not taking my hat off because I have bad hair day. <laughs> but this energy will go right through my hat. I'll show you where my thumbs are. Right at the top of my crown chakra. And then you can take a nice deep breath and exhale it. And as you exhale, you're coming to your third eye. Right there, the third eye is between the eyebrows. 
and there's an acupressure point here on bladder meridian. You don't have to know what that means. Just know that when you tap into this acupressure point, you calm your entire nervous system. This is also known to bring down blood pressure in some people. Here we go to the next one. Inhale and exhale. It's kind of right in the middle of your chest. We're actually going through our chakras. We skipped the throat chakra and there's many, many reasons why. And if you study Eden Method with us, you'll learn why. But it's doing its own thing. The throat chakra is fine. It's complex and it's it's doing just fine. So we're skipping it. And then next we're going to go to the belly button. Inhale and exhale to the belly button. And then we're going to sort of diamond shape and flare our fingers and hold that womb area. Even if you're a man or if you're gender neutral, we all have this area that is sort of the seat of our our trunk and all of these organs all of the organs in this area that we want to nurture and take care of and then we're just going to smooth it down our body and shake it off all right the next one is earth element this is called the triple warmer spleen hug triple warmer is an energy system you know what spleen is, it's an organ, and both of them are involved with the immune system. And if we cradle them, we can really bring nurturing to our immune system. So the spleen, take your right hand please, and put it right below your left breast, and you're just going to hold that there. That is your spleen area, and the spleen, it takes care of you, it takes care of the body. It's like a mommy, and so you're going to hold it and be good to it. With your left hand, you're going to wrap your hand and fingers around your right arm. There's a meridian, which is an energy pathway, a meridian for triple warmer, and it goes through this area, and you're just holding where that energy pathway is, and you're holding it gently to help out that triple warmer because triple warmer is involved with fight, flight, or freeze, and you can get sort of <laughs> quickly moved into fight, flight, and freeze when you're under stress. And so we're just cradling here. This is the triple warmer spleen hug. <sighs> one more, we have one more technique for you. And when you're doing this, just know that you are training the body for better habits. All right, the last one is for the metal element. And for metal, we have connecting heaven and earth. It is one of our most popular techniques in Eden Method. And I think it's because it feels so good. So we'll do it together. It gives a great stretch through the body. Keep in mind, if you're in a chair, if you're maybe you're in a wheelchair, maybe you're on the bed, you can do this sitting down. You don't have to stand up, but I'm standing today. So let's generate the energy and let's shake it off. And we're going to put our hands on our thighs for grounding, taking a nice deep breath in and exhale. And now we're bringing our arms together and a hand, our hands in pyramid position right in front of our heart chakra. And I'm going to go up with one hand and down with the other, pushing up heaven and pushing down earth so both separating them but being connected between the two and I'm getting a fabulous stretch stretch with me and the other side and you can exhale here so ideally I'm talking so I can't do the breathing as well ideally you'll want to inhale hold it there stretch and exhale inhale hold it there and exhale coming back to pyramid one more time inhale exhale and you've just stretched that whole area through your body your waist your hips 
your organs, bringing good energy and good circulation to the trunk of your body. Mm. And just bask in that glory for a moment. If you would like to and you're able, you can also bend forward. I'm not going to go all the way down because I need to speak to you out there. Bend forward from your hips and waist. Do a couple of figure eights here. You can do those on the ground if you're very limber. And come on up. Ah, and sprinkle the energy around you. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is your five elements, five day challenge. And either my mom or my sister or I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.